Hey everyone, it's Paul back at you again on a cold, really cold Saturday morning. Now I, I woke up, it was 16 degrees, froze my ass off when I took the dog out. Uh, but here we are, it's 9 o'clock, we're about to start thrifting, I'm at my first stop. This is our first ride along using the new GoPro, so you will see some footage inside the store today. And as you see, I've got the chest mount. So we're going to hook it up go inside and see what we can find let's get it all right so you see at this store they've got a little bit of plush some toys it's usually the area i start in start over here and then i go around to the clothes take a quick look then go to the books and media scan those and then go through the hard goods and see if there's anything good so, let's look Goodwill usually has crappy games um, and the very high price, usually $4.99. But I still take a look anyway and see if I get a surprise. Alright, the DVDs here are usually are nothing but uh, name brand stuff, so usually not much we can find. Well, it's a lot of uh, something sealed, but again at $2 it's usually not much. So the being two dollar buy cost, I usually just look for sealed DVDs and take a look. All right, so the first store wasn't that good. We only got a couple of shirts. Shelves were kind of bare. Nothing I'd really like. Um, so, eh, it'd be like that sometimes got a flannel shirt, a Star Wars scarf, which could be interesting, and a nice vintage sweater. We'll take a look at all that stuff at the end. a lot bigger than the other one we were at um, probably almost triple the size normally what I do is I go to sporting goods and the 
toys first, see if there's anything. So far today, all I found was a 1995 Yahtzee handheld game. I saw this on Early Bird Picker's page. If it's new, it goes pretty well, but this one's used and a little damaged. But at $2, I figured I'd get it and give it a chance to show you the vintage. Um, now what I'm doing is just going through clothes, take a quick look through those. After that, I'll go through the book, start scanning, and see if we can find anything. And then go look at the media. Sometimes I get lucky with the DVDs and CDs here. This place only has a ton of keyboards, only they're, they're not worth a damn. Check that at the end. It looks like it's new. I don't see. But yeah, probably nothing. Most of the stuff there is crap. Take a look and see if we see any DVD, VCR combos. No, it doesn't look like it's today. All right, I'm a little disappointed at the Liberty Thrift today. Didn't really find much. Um, gave you a little glimpse of the store, though. You see what I'm working with when I go there. Um, I did get the racing wheel. I'm going to take a chance on that. Six bucks with a potential of 40 minus shipping. So potential of about 25 to 30 in profit. Gross profit before any fees. Uh, and I got the electronic Yahtzee, so I think that'll be a little little sale, but it'll bring in some money. Let's go off to the other store now. We're going to go to the barn, and then I'm going to be done because I got some stuff to do at the house today. So if anyone has ever doubted me about the barn, the thrift store in a barn, here you go. This is it. We are here today, like normal, on a Saturday, and there it is. It is literally a barn. Let's get inside, get these DVDs real quick, because I'm in a hurry today. You see here we got a lot of cars and vehicles, which I just never have the time to look through. I gotta do that one day. Let's see this. Look at those comps are about 15, 18 bucks plus shipping, and it's two bucks. So we're gonna get that. We'll get through here real fast. Not much that I would want to go for. Doesn't look like there's any new point games, so let's skip over that. Quick look at plush. This is the DVD section I was talking about. Normally I go through, find all the new ones, just make a pile, which I've got here. And then I'll go scan through them. Anything I want, I'll keep. And then I'll go through and see if there's anything that's oddball that's used that I would have never thought to think of getting. So let's scan these and see what we got. Not surprising today, we only got two Jeff Dunham and Racing Stripes from $14.99 and $10.99. $3 buy plus, I'll take it. So this is the book section. <laughs> it is small, but I usually find some good dollar ones, so I'm going to go scan the books and see what we got. All finished up at the barn. I'm about to head home. I'm in a rush today. I only got to spend about 15 to 20 minutes in there, which is nothing near what I would normally spend. Uh, you saw my DVD section there. It's pretty full, usually a good amount of new ones. Uh, new ones really didn't hit today, got two. Didn't get a chance really to look through the used ones today, I just don't have the time. Books I struck out on, which is amazing for the store. I never strike out here, but I guess there's a first time for everything. I did get one board game, NHL Monopoly Collector's Edition from the 90s. So a little vintage Monopoly game. 
Uh, I was missing two pieces, but they have substitutes. So I got to see what they are. Uh, but what I like about this store is they check every board game before putting it out on the shelf. So on every board game, it said complete or not complete with replacements and tells you how many replacements are there or if they just didn't have any to replace. So I kind of like that. I think I'm going to start looking here for the board games more. I typically stay away from board games because I just don't like counting pieces and trying to figure out what's missing. But if they're going to do all that work, I'm going to take a look. All right, I got to go. Got to hit the store. Got to get home and things to do. I'll show you the haul a little bit later. All right, guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the haul. It was a small one today, but we should get a little bit of money. Not like the last couple Saturdays. We got this, we got the racing wheel and the Yahtzee game at the one store. At the Goodwill, we got a vintage Obermeyer sweater. I saw pretty good comps on that, so I figured I'd take a chance on it. A Star Wars Darth Vader scarf. Come on out, Star Wars. I gotta figure that would sell. Got a Jingo plaid button down. Should do okay. Controlled Chaos DVD, Racing Stripes DVD. This Road Rippers monster truck. Motorized. Got it for two bucks. Comps are around 20, so figured why not. And then we got the Monopoly NHL game. It's vintage. It's pretty old. Um, let's see if I see the year on it. There are two pieces missing, so I'm going to have to see what those are, but they did put replacements in. Game's from 1999, guys. So, yeah, it's pretty old. Um, that's a pretty good comp. It's at $1.50. I figured, why not take a chance? So, yeah, today went pretty good. Didn't get anything big, but I still think it's going to be worth my time. Um, hope you like the new format of the videos, including the uh, in-store um, we're going to be changing things up. I'm going to be playing with that over the next couple of weeks and try to figure out what works. Um, I'm still figuring out the GoPro and not quite sure how I want to do these videos and how I want to film in stores. I used the chest strap in some, the others I carried. So, I mean, we're going to see. We'll see how it goes. Hope you like it. The videos are going to get better. They're going to gradually get longer as well. Um, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your weekend. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button smash the like button and I'll see you later in the week.